back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman, as you can see, doing our remote, slightly north of our main studio broadcast today. And uh, we're going to kind of stay in the area right now, but uh, we're going to go statewide because this young lady's uh, authority certainly goes statewide. She is the state director for AARP, Paula Cunningham. Welcome to the show, Paula. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. It's always nice to be in your company. Well, it's uh, that is very generous, <laughs> and I don't hear that very often. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. Listen, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, AARP because I, sometimes in the business community, it, they're they're a, a forgotten part, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know, for the most part, they're kind of retired. They've got their nest egg, and but there are a lot of things that they do economically that really help this state of Michigan. Absolutely. And thank you for that's an excellent way to start. You know, I always say sometimes that people think they know AARP, but they really don't know AARP. They think it's something you do once you retire. Maybe you might get a few discounts, some insurance, but that's not who we are at the state level. There's another arm of AARP that does insurance and all of that. But, you know, I just learned today, Chris, that AARP was voted by Forbes as one of the best companies to work for. They out of 500 companies, we were ranked number 19. Uh, we have won the Baldridge Award for the quality and the work that we do. Uh, AAR, AARP is a phenomenal multi-billion dollar organization that supports older adults and their families and communities. However, that means veterans, that means older adults. And if you look at our consumer index or if you look at any of the information in terms of the economy that AARP has published, Older adults contribute more to the economy than any other age group. You know, even if there's a recession, they still buy cars, they still go to movies, they still go to dinner, they still because they're on a, an income that's a fixed income for them. So they are major contributors to the economy. They vote that 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 uh, population votes more than any other since last election in 2022. There were five million absentee uh, ballots, and 3.3 million were by older adults, and 68 percent of them, 64 percent of them were older adults. So whether you're talking about it and an an advocacy issue, whether you're talking about the economy or what or whatever you're talking about, you need to keep older adults in mind and keep them at the table. And when it comes to jobs, the same thing is true. And you and I both know. Thank you for your wonderful uh, creativity in terms of initiative, in terms of bringing experience for hire to the table. But you and I both know that older adults are reliable, dependable employees in the workplace. And many of them, once they retire, would love to go back in the workplace for you know part time, full time, or on a temporary basis. So, you know, there's so much, we work with veterans. There's so much about our organization that people don't know about. And I'd love to sit down with any of them and talk with you about possible real possibilities at AARP. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. And, and I hadn't uh, really realized, now I've been a member for many, many years, but I hadn't really realized how big an advocacy group this is uh, until I went to Washington, D.C. and found out that their facilities take up several blocks uh, they they are an enormous organization and big here in Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you were wise enough to bring one of our wonderful uh, components, the ARP, the Innovation Lab, to one of your lunches and talked about all the innovations that are going on throughout the world. The ARP is hooking up companies. Uh, you know, private sector with public sector, public sector with public sector, Walgreens with someone who's inventing a new uh, robot for dispensing pills. We do that in, in, in our national office as well. It's a phenomenal place. Well, it's, it's people re-entering the workforce that want something to do. And that was Jacqueline Baker, by the way. She was pretty, uh, pretty outstanding. And, you know, it's probably uh, good for me to do uh, kind of the in full uh, honesty thing. I, I'm the president of AARP Michigan, which means uh, chairman of the board. It's a volunteer position, but very fortunate to work with Paula Cunningham, and that's why we have her on today. Let's talk a little bit about experience for hire. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, well, you know, you had uh, you, you actually had the, the national president of Small Business Association, and he talked about entrepreneurs and how uh, more and more older adults are creating their own business. And so they're not going back into the workplace. But I'm here to tell you that there are just millions of older adults across this country who would love to get back in the workplace. And thank you for experience for hire, Chris. You created this program. And what it does is 
uh, allow older adults to apply for positions uh, in companies where they might want full-time or part-time. And there we're working with the state of Michigan. We're working with Cap Michigan Works. Well, you can talk about the experience for hire. We're working with Michigan Works and so many other wonderful agencies to make certain that we connect older adults with the vacancy, the job vacancies that exist in our state of Michigan. And they are wonderful, wonderful, reliable employees. Well, and it was going with great success, too, until COVID kind of put the face-to-face -face thing on it. But it, it, it basically is we, we kind of call um, our membership at AARP and say, are you interested in going back in the workforce? What are your skills? Right. And then we match them up with employers. And a big part in this is, is the Capital Works or the Michigan Works. Uh, right. And you put them in that database, so it may not happen right away, but it will happen. And so people who are interested need to contact ARP.org uh, forward slash MI and make certain that you look for experience for hire on there. We can put you in the database. And it's not like, oh, gee, I wonder if anyone's going to call. If you get a call, that means that an employer, your skills match the same skills that an employer is looking for. And so that's what's different about just a natural, y'all come now recruit. This is specific skill set to skill set match. And we were having great success placing people as well. We were again. It's 2022. We're coming out of this stuff. We're going to we're going to be on the road again, all over this great great state. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Cunningham, who is the uh, executive director of AARP here in the state of Michigan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for all the great work you do. It's always good to spend time with you. Appreciate you, Chris. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. You've been watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.